Hi everyone, this is Rich from IO Audio. Today I'm gonna to give you five positive effects that not drinking alcohol has had on my business and my personal life. Number one, an overall improvement on my mental health. So a couple of years ago, I reached out to counseling services um, because I just wasn't coping with everything that was going on with my life at the time. Uh, bringing up two young kids, running a business, working all the time, as well as getting to the weekend and having a drink and then come Monday, Tuesday, tired. You know, just that kind of cycle of having a drink at the weekend and being tired in the week, I think had a massive effect effect on my mental health so yeah I just wasn't able to cope with everything that was going on and that's why I reached out to them and although they, they were brilliant what I found in the end was giving up drink completely uh, really helped with my energy levels and I was able to cope a lot better with everything and what it did was uh, enable me to be the best possible version of myself as I can be um, as a business owner uh, and as a dad more importantly so um, yeah the overall decision um, of stopping completely really helped my mental health overall number two more energy and better quality of sleep so when I was drinking come Monday morning because I might have drank Friday Saturday and Sunday I was just didn't have the energy that I needed to be able to run a business and cope with running a business um, so Mondays I would feel tired sometimes Tuesdays you could still feel the effects of it and sometimes Wednesdays you know I'm getting a bit older now so being able to process alcohol isn't what it used to be so uh, I found that not having that energy and not being able to cope would mean that I was under a lot more stress and that the anxiety uh, with being tired would uh, you know increase tenfold so yeah not having that energy to cope with anything just made everything just 10 times worse so um, stopping drinking does mean that you you bet your quality of sleep is tons better I mean I don't sleep as long as I feel that I should do really like last night probably had six hours sleep I was up at five o'clock this morning but I don't feel tired um, because the the quality of sleep is a lot better so so yeah better quality of sleep which means more energy less stress and able to cope with life a lot better so number three increased confidence so this comes back to that cycle of having a hangover not having enough energy and kind of shying away from uh, responsibilities and pushing myself to get out there and get in touch with people and yeah just really push myself and my business out there having the hangovers and having the kind of not enough energy to do that um, you know has this kind of decrease in confidence so now I'm, I don't even think twice about putting myself out there. You know, like I said, Monday mornings, I'm raring to go. I, I just want to, I've probably got a load of ideas from over the weekend. That's the other thing as well. Because I'm not drinking, the thought of drinking doesn't take up my thinking space. So I can think a lot clearer. I'll come up with ideas over the weekend and come Monday, I want to put them into place. Uh, you know, sitting in front of a camera like this, I would probably shy away from it on a Monday morning because I just wouldn't have the energy or just couldn't be bothered um, so yeah just having that confidence and being able to sit in front of a camera on a Monday morning and do this kind of thing as well as um, picking up the phone and getting in touch with people that have perhaps emailed me over the weekend or you know potential clients yeah that I find that is a lot better without alcohol and also like this year I got up on stage and uh, announced a couple of awards at the One Voice conference without alcohol whereas in years ago I did it about four or five years ago um, had a couple of drinks for kind of Dutch curries to get up there on the microphone so I didn't I didn't do that this year just did it sober which was absolutely fine I was still you know really nervous beforehand but I didn't kind of lean on alcohol to help me get through that so uh, you know I've got up and done presentations and I've also been on the karaoke as a sober person which yeah hearing yourself how bad you sing as a sober person uh, is not not great but uh, you know it's not masked by the alcohol so you can't kind of get away from it there's no hiding from yourself but uh, yeah getting up and doing things like that without alcohol without drink uh, just gives you that confidence to be able to push yourself even further you know what else can I do that I used to do with drink what can I do without the drink so yeah definitely increased confidence number four 
an improvement on my overall health and immune system. So what I found from not drinking for, it's been a year and a half now, is that I am less prone to um, being ill. Whether it's a coincidence, I don't think it is. I've definitely not been ill as much as I would have been in previous years uh, when I've been drinking because, you know, come Christmas time, the alcohol intake goes up quite dramatically. And so you, you, you know, you've got less energy and more tired and you just are more prone to catching things. So yeah, again, it becomes a vicious a cycle of being ill, you know, and sometimes when I was ill, I would have a hot toddy and, you know, use alcohol as a kind of thing to help with being ill, uh, which is kind of counterproductive, uh, really. So yeah, but now I just find I find that I'm uh, I'm just less prone to picking things up. So definitely, not having alcohol in your system improves your your overall health and your immune system. Number five, saving money. So I use an app called Try Dry, and it basically monitors how much money you're saving. You input all your data of um, what you normally spend on alcohol in a week, and then as you go through the weeks and months of not drinking and inputting that data, it just tallies up how much you've probably saved. So the app is telling me at the moment I've saved like 2,200, um, but I'm convinced that it's a, a lot more than that. I'm sure it's around the kind of three to three and a half thousand mark that I've saved. And obviously that money goes um, on doing things that I enjoy like cycling and going on holiday with my family and also um, investing things in my business so I'm not kind of shying away from, oh, I need to save that money because we're going out at the weekend. It's um, actually, I've saved that money because I didn't go out and spend it on alcohol. So now I'm going to buy something and invest in something that I really want to uh, invest or, or buy. So yeah, saving money is a, definitely an upside of not drinking. So there you have it, five positives of not drinking alcohol. Again, it's not always rosy. Uh, you know, life is still life. Life and we still have to cope with responsibilities. Um, so, but not having the alcohol there uh, enables you to cope with it a lot better. It's enabled me to cope with it a lot better as well. So, if you are thinking about doing it, I would definitely recommend you give it a try. I, like I said, this has been kind of a ten over ten year journey for me. Starting doing the the dry January and then doing two months and then three months and then six months. But I found that I was always dropping back into the same cycle of getting to the weekend and just trying to you know escape from life and uh, when you've got responsibilities like kids and businesses you know there is no escape um come monday morning it's all there waiting for you um so yeah if you are thinking about doing this uh, i'm going to put some information in below the video books that i've read uh, you know apps that i've tried um and if you feel like reaching out to me personally uh, for more more information or advice feel free to do that uh, my email is rich at ioaudio.co so yeah good luck uh, again if you need any advice feel free to reach out but yeah give it a try